My name is Sue Trankina, and this presentation will answer the question, how can technology be used to educate and empower students? This will be delivered in a Pecha Kucha style, meaning that we will be using 20 slides, and I will be trying to speak for only 20 seconds on each one of them. Now, as we go on to slide number two, I'd like to highlight equity. Technology has the potential to promote equity and close long withstanding achievement gaps for student in underprivileged neighborhoods. Technology is expected to be this great equalizer in connecting all students to ample opportunities and essentially leveling the playing field. This is in part due to our next slide, which is the ways that technology can bring access to learning anywhere and at any time. In addition to promoting equity, technology can create educational opportunities for students where they might not have had them before. In 2020, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we've learned how important, powerful, and critical technology is as schools are relying on it for their daily instruction. It is understood that technology integration has the potential to increase student motivation. As digital natives, students of today are simply more likely to show interest in a learning activity that leverages tools like computers, Chromebooks, tablets, smartphones when they enjoy using them. And these technology tools can improve communication in different ways for schools. From email and messaging services to learning management systems and even these new video chat tools that teachers are using daily, we're able to communicate in ways that we never thought would be possible a short time ago. Improved open lines of communication creates opportunity for learning, especially collaboration. It is commonly understood that collaboration between students is an important part of their learning. Technology enables unlimited opportunities for collaboration, whether it's synchronous or asynchronous, so that students can learn and grow together and also empower one another. Collaboration doesn't just have to happen inside the four walls of a classroom anymore. Through technology, lessons can be enhanced through global connections. When students have an opportunity to connect and collaborate with peers in other countries or even experts in their course content. For students with disabilities, auditory and visual impairments, and other special needs, assistive technology is often relied on for daily support. These technological tools make learning possible for the students that they support. And additionally, some accessibility tools like closed captions, voice typing, screen readers, etc., can accommodate all learners when used in the classroom. Student choice is allowing your students to play to their strengths and choose how they want to showcase their knowledge in a way that they can be proud of. Technology allows for many options from the tools that they use or the paths that they take to achieve their learning goals and ultimately prosper in the classroom. Leveraging technology tools so that students can learn at their own pace can help students find greater success and reduce the stress of trying to keep up with their peers. Self-paced learning with videos or playlists can help students learn what they each need to learn by the time they need to learn it. There are different types of learners and different types of learning styles. If we support students at learning at their own pace and we allow them to make choices so that they can play to their interests, we can also personalize experiences for them in a way that was never possible before technology. It's no coincidence that fun classrooms are filled with engaged students. Gamification is one example of how technology enables learning to be fun. Technology programs such as eSports, Minecraft, and those that use badges and incentives as reward systems make learning fun for students and play to their competitive spirits. Authentic learning or learning that is connected to the real world has always been an important concept, even before technology. Through technology, students and teachers have countless ways to connect their learning experiences to real, authentic information, which can make learning more fun, interesting, and meaningful. I believe that all students want to learn. However, they want to learn things that will improve their daily lives and help them navigate the world around them. By embracing technology and connecting learning experiences to their communities, teachers can make lessons more meaningful, purposeful, and relevant for students, which will cause them to claim ownership over their learning. Active learning where students are engaged as active participants in the learning process is yet another teaching strategy enabled by technology. Technology can be a transformational tool when it comes to making learning more active and student-centered so that the students can experience learning rather than simply receiving knowledge from their teachers. 
With personalized student-centered learning, especially if you're incorporating project-based learning, it's critical that students and teachers have an ongoing feedback loop so that students are constantly aware of their progress and learning from their successes and their failures. Tools like voice notes and screencasts are a great way to personalize feedback. Through technology, there are many new tools to help educators deliver organized content. If the teacher is organized, it is all of our hope that the student will be a bit more organized too. <laughs> Maybe in a perfect world, but nonetheless, there are tech tools that can support the students who are interested in possibly being organized. As a result of the move to remote and hybrid instruction and the social and emotional stressors and triggers that go along with these new learning environments, educators, administrators, parents, and even educational companies are directing their focus to social and emotional learning and the well-being of all of our students. Technology tools are important in supporting SEL. Regardless of the technology tool that is used to educate and empower your students, empowerment is contagious. Through empowerment, students will look forward to being in class and take ownership of their work. They'll also inspire others to feel the excitement that they feel about the content. And at the end of the day, we as educators are here to best prepare our students for the future. In 2018, the World Economic Forum reported that of the children entering primary school today, 65% will end up working in completely new job types that do not yet exist. Embracing technology and building a culture of innovation in your classroom is what can best prepare your students for their futures.